In this video, we will learn quantifiers. Quantifiers express quantity, right? Some of the quantifiers are some, many, few, little, any of, each of, etc. So they are also called determiners, uh, usually positioned before the nouns. So how do we identify errors pertaining to quantifiers? Let's understand that through some example sentences. Let's look at our first example. One of any teacher has received the Sahatya Academic Award. And the highlighted phrase is any teacher. And my options are the teacher, my teachers, teacher, and then no improvement. So one rule that you need to remember is sentences that begin with one of, each of, right? Um, all of these always uh, are followed by a plural subject. This is this is the rules. Um, this is the this is the rule. So remember that rule. So in this context, the sentence begins with one of, and from my options, the only option that gives me a plural subject is option B, my teachers, right? So that's going to be the answer for us. You know, if I have to give you example sentences, I'd say uh, each of the girls sings well. Each of the girls, each of the girls, plural subject, sentence begins with each of, sings well, right? So one of, each of, some of, followed by plural subject, all right? Every one of the experiments is complete. Every one of the experiments, every one of the experiments is complete. Are you following? Uh, let's move to our second example. One of the former students donated a large sum of money to the school. Again, same principle, right? One of the former students. Uh, the error is in part two. You just have to add an S after T, right? Because we just saw the rule. One of, each of, some of, always followed by plural subjects. Error is in part two. Okay, let's move to our uh, next example. Many of the snow has already melted. Many is the one that is highlighted. What are my options? Any, much, few, little. Okay. So, what's the difference between many and much? What's the difference between few and little? What is this any? Right? Uh, again, all of these are quantifiers. But let's understand the difference. That will help us narrow down on what the right answer is for this example sentence. Now, many, much. Many is used with a countable noun. Much is used for uncountable nouns, right? I don't have many books in my collection. Books. I can count the books. I don't have many books in my collection. How much milk is there in the fridge? How much milk? Milk. Uncountable noun in, this, in that context, right? So, you see the difference between many and much? Okay. The same rule applies for few and little. You use few with countable nouns. You use little with uncountable nouns, okay? But look at our context. Many of the snow has already melted. Now, the subject, which is snow, is a countable noun or uncountable noun? It's an uncountable noun. So I can automatically eliminate many, of course, which is part of the sentence, which I have to replace, and a few out, right? But what about any? Any represents um, unlimited quantity or extent or degree, right? Uh, here... We're talking about a specific portion of the snow which has already melted. So any in this context, again, will not be applicable, right? So we clear out A, we clear out C, and if we apply option D, little of the snow is already melted, again, does not make sense. Um, grammatically, it doesn't sound right, but much of the snow has already melted is the right answer and we will replace many with much complementing the uncountable noun snow. Right? Much of the snow has already melted. So remember the rules that we looked at while we looked at identifying quantifiers and also learn to apply the construction of a quantifier in a context. So keep practicing. Let's move to our next component in finding errors.